One of the strengths at Additive Industries is our process and application development team. As a company, we are very customer focused and we never just sell a machine and leave our customer unsupported. Whether this support is provided through our world-class customer lifecycle team or our P&AD team helping them develop the process for their part. Combining both the fantastic hardware, the Metafab One, with a process optimized for a part, even in a new material, can be extremely powerful in lowering the cost per part and opening opportunities for new parts that were just not economically viable to be produced in AM before. There is no standard part in additive manufacturing, so why should there be a standard process? So if you want to optimize the process for a specific part or application, we can take care of developing different aspects of the additive manufacturing part value chain for you. That includes design for additive manufacturing, process development, build preparation, powder testing, heat treatment, post-processing, qualification, you name it. Additionally, we can also offer training to your employees if needed. The beauty of this assignment is that the better understanding we get from your needs, the best we can help you to unveil new applications. We can also help if you want to adopt a new material and qualify it for the Metal Fab One. Hello, I'm Yusuf Geber. I'm Head of Materials and Process Development within Additive Industries, and my main responsibility lies around developing process parameters to achieve the best performance from the Metal Fab One. The laser powder bed fusion process is a complex manufacturing technology. Due to the large number of variables involved in consolidating the material, as well as creating the geometry at the same time. These variables can be split into two categories, machine variables. These are vital set points that define the conditions under which a material is processed. For example, the type of inner gas use, gas flow rate, oxygen content, and build plate temperature. The second set of variables are process variables, which basically define the amount of energy applied to the powder bed and the manner with which this energy is applied. Mastering both machine and process variables enables us to create parts that are fully dense at excellent productivity rates, but more importantly, with a tailored microstructure for optimal performance for the end-use application. This really is the primary function of our process team, and here is a snapshot of how we do it. We follow nine process readiness levels. PRL 1 and 2 are entry maturity levels focused on understanding the material to be processed and the requirements of the end-use application. This can be a multitude of things, fatigue performance is an example, very high productivity is another, and often it's both, and it's very important to define what we're aiming for from the very beginning. At this stage, we characterize the metal powder, set out the powder specifications, and spend some time to understand the influence of the material's thermophysical properties on the laser to powder interactions. The goal is to determine if the powder is flowable or more accurately spreadable and if the material is weldable or not, the latter being the more fun one to deal with. At process readiness levels 3 and 4, we start combining our statistical know-how with our process knowledge to set up smart design of experiments that are representative of the quadratic interactions between the process variables involved. Making smart choices is crucial to determine what responses are being measured in order to meet the development objectives of the bulk material. This is an example where you can see that we're able to model the influence of laser power, laser speed and hatch distance on part density and ductility with sufficient statistical confidence. Statistics are really powerful when employed correctly and in this case we're able to utilize this know-how to optimize bulk processing parameters to achieve not only fully dense parts, but also to reduce the volume fraction of precipitates in this particular alloy to maximize the ductility. Once the performance of the bulk material is validated, we are then able to move on to PRL 5 and 6. These are intermediate maturity levels where the parameters are tuned to address the influence of part-specific geometries, thin sections or lattice structures, for instance. The approach is the same, statistics are used, what changes is the response that we measure and if more variables are introduced, such as border parameters, for example. 
Once this stage is complete, we move on to the next PRL level by demonstrating the repeatability and reproducibility over the Metal Fab One's large build volume and compare the performance from core to core and from machine to machine, as my colleague Will has showed in uh, previous videos. The remaining part of the PRL process is part specific. In PRL 7 to 9, we optimize the upskin and downskin parameters to minimize the need for support structures and ensure that Metal Fab One parts have the best surface finish possible on all sides of the component being manufactured. Even though we release well-rounded parameters, we always encourage our customers to specifically optimize them for their part geometries, and we work hand in hand to achieve just that. My personal favorite part is the heat treatment optimization, which is an excellent opportunity to optimize the mechanical performance of LPBF parts. It is often the case that inherited heat treatments used for forgings or castings are applied to LPBF parts even though the microstructure is quite different. I'm proud that our team is particularly strong in this area, where we are continuously developing bespoke heat treatments to cater for these unique LPBF microstructures and therefore deliver the best possible mechanical performance to our Metal Fab One customers. In summary, our PRL development process is data-driven and very much governed by statistics. But the secret to making this process work is using a well-designed system which is robust and that allows for stable processing conditions throughout the whole build volume. The, these stable processing conditions mean that statistical uncertainties encountered during various PRL levels are sufficiently low, which allows us to optimize and tune the processing parameters with ease in a scientific manner. If you'd like to learn more, we'd love to talk to you. Please get in touch with our PNAD team. Hello, my name is Navjeevan Sandhu. I am the lead process and application development in Additive Industries North America. To help ensure quality and consistency, not only the Metal Fab One, but also the wider industry as a whole, Additive Industries works very closely with the development of standards. We have been following standards that have been created or in development by ISO or ASTM. From mechanical properties, designed for additive manufacturing, CAD file creation, equipment fitness, such as factory acceptance test, site acceptance test, machine calibration, and last but not, not the least, process control which includes part inspection, witness coupon testing, build monitoring and build log, machining, and final inspection. As you can see, we are trying to help ensure quality and consistency of not only the Metal Fab One, but also the wider industry as a whole. Thank you. Hi, my name is Christoph Hansen and I'm Director of Technology and Innovation at Sauber Engineering. In this role, I'm responsible for all additive manufacturing activities within the Sauber Group. The fact that Additive Industries offers us open platform systems, it allows us to develop the laser parameters to its need. Obviously, one of our most advanced applications is the race car itself. Therefore, we develop different laser parameters for different car parts such as crash parts and fatigue loaded parts. Another important application for additive manufacturing is the development of our race car in the wind tunnel. For this use, we produce hundreds of parts which are going to be tested in the wind tunnel in aluminium. For this use, we have to develop special laser parameter set in order to speed up the process to be competitive and produce parts in a short time. Furthermore, we provide our technology in terms of 3D printing to the bright industry. Therefore, we have the ability with these uh, open systems to develop the process to the need of the customer. Our customer support is just one of the many reasons why additive industries is the preferred partner of our customers. Come back next week to learn more about the next steps in achieving higher productivity.